Hey, welcome back. I'm David Mustard and this week we are in Barnes in West London. And this is an extremely idyllic location. We are just by the River Thames with gorgeous views in both directions. And we are still rather central, but there's plenty of parks and green spaces around. We have the massive Richmond Park to the south and the London Wetland Centre to the east. And there's good transport links to central London as well. So what are we looking at today? Well, we are looking at a four bedroom, two bathroom terraced house arranged over three floors and it has two reception rooms and it is available for £2,450,000 and it is listed with Fine & Country Richmond and if you have any questions just contact agent Danny Walton. I will leave a link to the listing and his email below in the description. The house has 2,184 square feet of living space which is just over 200 square meters and I will leave the floor plan up for you here to have a look. A lot of the houses and apartments that we see are staged by a staging company but this one has people living in it so this can hopefully give an even more realistic view of what you can create with a home like this. Now let's have a look inside. What you notice immediately is all the white. White walls, white furniture, it's a very bright house and I just love the contrast with the wooden floors and the wooden steps on the stairs. It gives this modern rustic feel in the whole house. Is it bold to maybe saying that this is on the verge of cottagecore? And if you look straight down the hallway, you can see straight through the whole house out into the back garden. It's just a simple but beautiful feature that makes the house feel more open. To our right now, we have not one, but two reception rooms. The first one has a window looking out into the front garden and the second one out to the back garden. They each also have a fireplace in this light grey marble colour which fits great with the rest of the house. And these very tall ceilings which gives it a very luxurious feel. One of my favourite features here are the double doors between the two rooms. They really scream Scandinavian turn of the century style. There's also double doors that opens up the space between the reception rooms and the hallway so you can walk all the way around. Now let's continue down the hallway on the ground floor towards the open plan kitchen dining room. On the way there we find plenty of storage space on our left and on our right there's the downstairs bathroom in a nice black and white with a toilet and a shower. In the kitchen we have this bright white colour throughout with white tiles at the back of the stove as well. There's also a large kitchen island in the center and a dining table tucked away to the left. I really like the large white sink here that's below the wooden bench level. Very rustic and romantic. I also appreciate these minimalist designer lamps hanging over the kitchen island. They fit in beautifully. But the most extraordinary thing with this kitchen is how it opens up through these glass double doors into the conservatory, where I'm standing right now actually. These doors and these partial glass walls really bring the light into the kitchen from the outside. The conservatory really screams indoor-outdoor living with its glass walls and glass roof. And on warmer days you can just open up your second set of glass double doors and have it open into the garden. The garden is very secluded and green with a tall fence around it and plenty of trees. By the way, if you want to see more house tours on this channel, you should definitely subscribe and leave a little like and we will soon have more videos for you. And let us know what kind of places you want us to show. We do already have a bunch of home tours on this channel, we'll leave links below so you can check those out as well. Now let's go back through the kitchen and into the hallway and move upstairs to the first floor. I like the details here on the banister and there's tons of these small details throughout the house that you don't see in a lot of modern houses. Up here we find the main bedroom straight ahead with built-in wardrobes and a private balcony overlooking the rear garden. And this is definitely a place to enjoy your morning coffee. It's got space for either a couple of sun chairs like it has now or a smaller table with two chairs. Mm. 
moving on from the bedroom, there's a couple of steps up to the other two bedrooms on this floor. And I just like when a floor has several semi-floors on the same level. It gives the house a sense of that there's always more to see. You know, kind of like when an open plan living room has a couple of steps down from the kitchen to the living room, for example. An extreme example of this is the minimalist house we visited in Ireland. I'm sure we can get some footage of that. Uh, it had a sunken kitchen next to the living room to make use of the whole wall of windows in front of it. Very cool, a bit extreme, but very cool. To our left here, we have the family bathroom in beige with a bathtub and two sinks. It's all very cohesive with the rest of the house and each sink has double taps, one for hot and one for cold water. Something you don't see very often nowadays, but is very exotic to a Swede like myself who just grew up with one tap. Now over to the other two bedrooms. The first one is a good size with a window out to the back garden. And you have these nice shelves built into the wall here. I think one of the fireplaces goes straight up here next to it. So that's why you can use this bit on the side here for the shelves. Gives it a bit more character. And right next to this is another bedroom which is probably larger than the main bedroom. And this is being used as a third reception room or TV room. And unlike the bedrooms that have carpet floors, this one has a very nice dark wood parquet flooring in an intricate pattern which matches the furniture in here that goes in beige, brown and white tones. And it has these beautiful views of the Thames right outside. Now it's time to have a look at the top floor. Up here there's one room that can be used as a bedroom, TV room, a huge walk-in closet or something else. It's all painted white up here and we see where the slanted roof starts and ends up here, with one side being a bit more straight down than the other. Beautiful views up here as well and here you also got substantial eave storage space along one of the walls. And there's also a sink here in the corner. Anyway, now I think that is it for our tour in Barnes. 2,200 square foot for 2,450,000 pounds, listed with fine and country. Check out the link below. Now let me know what your favorite part of the house is down in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We have a lot more house tours booked in for you to see. So let me know what you want to watch. Luxury apartments, holiday rentals, something else, let me know. And don't forget to leave a little like on the video, that's always very helpful. Thanks for hanging out today and see you soon, bye bye.